Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. If you are on here, this is a live, so go ahead and say where you're from so I can shout you out. Let me know if you can hear me. Hey, Maria. Hey, Dems. Hey, girl. Hey, Doris. Hey. Okay, good. I'm glad y'all can hear me. Hey, Smiling Steel. Hey, babe. My husband on here. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Shayna. Hey, Annette. Hey, Crafting with your flamboyant creator. Hey, Charmaine. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. I know. I'm back. It's been a lot going on. So I have to do a video today because I ain't seen, I haven't been on for a while. So let me say, we're going to do a video tonight. I'm working on a lot of stuff today. So, hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Charmaine. And I'm. Um, Today, I'm going to be doing some transfers, okay? I got a big old order of transfers. I did like three of them already. I got to do three more so I can show you how to, did I, how, basically it's going to be a work with me. You can work with me while I'm doing these transfers. I got so much stuff to do, y'all. I got like four tumblers to make for Father's Day. I have, um, look at these little shorts I made for my, my grandson. I made these shorts. Hey, Shana. I said, glad to see you back on. Thank you. Thank you. I made these for my son. Yes, I sew also. So if y'all would love how, want to learn how to sew, I also do one-on-one -on -one sewing. I do one-on-one -on -one, um, crafting, DTF, sublimation, sewing. I don't know if y'all watched my my last video, but I do have an <laughs> industrial <laughs> uh, uh, embroidery machine. I finally got that on. Thanks to Dems for helping me. Shout out to Dems because she helped me get it together. I appreciate you, girl. Um, so yeah, so basically I made these for my, my, my grandson and I have a shirt that I want to embroider. So I got to make him embroider him a shirt to go with these shorts. And I also made him these shorts, Cookie Monster. And I made a t-shirt to match this so I can put some Cookie Monsters on here, cookies, something like that. So I got that to do. Um, I got so much stuff to do, y'all. What's been going on with y'all? Uh, still, smiling, still dope. Thank you, thank you. Hey, I'm Miss Queena from SC, South Carolina. Up Designs, UP Up Designs. Hey, happy Tuesday, Marissa. Okay, so today could be a question to ask, I mean, um, a Q and A. You can ask me any question you want. I'm in my new facility. I'm in my basement now. I was I was in my husband, my husband's house, but we changed that, so now I'm in my basement of my home. And no, the basement is not finished, but it's big enough to fit all my stuff. So I was like, hmm. I love my, oh, I love it when I can have my space in the same house that I was in. It was cool at my husband's house, but I could drive over there and do everything there. But now I can do everything in my house. So it's a huge basement, huge. I can fit everything in here. Thank you, Jesus. And I have space I can walk around, but it's not finished. The wall's not finished. The ceiling's not finished, but it's okay with me. So you might see some naked walls and some naked ceilings, but this is working good enough for me right now. So this is how we're going to do it until I get it together, okay? But I love it. I love just coming, just walking down the steps. Because I'm used to having it in my basement when I was in my condo before I got married. So I'm used to having it in my basement. So I'm like, oh, I love it. This is my special place. My place I can just come and just do what I want. Like my man cage, but it's a woman cage, my crafting cage. And I make my money here, okay? So I love it down here. It's cool, calm, and collective. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so I just heard that my machine just stopped. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what's going on over here in this machine. I'm going to take y'all over here. I got y'all on my little tripod. I'm walking around with you. Oh, walking around with it. Sorry, I'm gonna get you dizzy. But I got legs on it. I just bumped it. Okay, so here's what I'm doing right now. Here's my TTF machine. Let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, the light is in the way. Okay, so here's my DTF machine. Yes, I had the Pro Color DTF machine. I love it. I love it. I love it. Shout out to Pro Color for sending this to me. If y'all want this machine, check the link below. It's it's wonderful. Let me just show you my my, my basically my walls had like paneling on the walls, right? 
but it's and I we tore the paneling down so it's just glue because <laughs> I didn't like the paneling. So you can just see all this ugly on the shit, excuse me, the stuff on the wall. It's just paint, it's just glue. It's like a little glue on there, but cement walls is cool, it's cool, brick wall, whatever it is. But anyway, this machine is the bomb. DTF is the bomb. I love it, I love it, I love it. You can do so much stuff. DTF basically you can be able to uh print image these images on any type of material any cotton sublimation dark white black whatever okay i also have my sublimation machine right here the big boy right here is covered up because i've been working um that's only you can use this on polyester dark, um, garments okay and these are also my sublimation machines right here that um the s the f spins right so my crickets is down here too i got everything y'all then i have the new racoma <laughs> white toner printer I haven't got that mother hook up yet, but I'm going to do some videos on that too. So that's new in the making. But DTF is what I'm doing today, okay? Um, here's my image. I'm going to get that done, show y'all how I do that. And here's the heat, the oven I'm going to be using. Both of these came together from Pro Color. Check the link below. I love them. I love the customer service. Everything is lovely. I love the way these, this machine works, okay? So check out the um, link below. Get you one and with a discounted price, okay? On my link below. Put y'all back on the tripod so I can get this... Um, this image off the machine. It basically comes with a cutter. I'm basically going to go ahead and put this out. Okay, now I'm going to cut it. So I go ahead and put the um, DTF powder on it. Shout out to Big Boy. He sent me some, um, what did he send me? Some white ink. And he sent me some powder. So shout out to him. If y'all need some anything to do with y'all DTF machines, contact him. His stuff is the bomb, okay? Here's my little. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Let me get this together. Hold on, y'all. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't tighten it up. Let me tighten it up. Okay. So here is my um my little table that I got everything going on my DT up, okay? So what I do is I cut the extra off right here on the top of the, the sheet. Cut that off. So I'm going to get a fit in my oven. Okay, and then I put this in this little tray right here so I won't get powder everywhere. I'm supposed to wear gloves, y'all, but no, I don't have any gloves right now. I don't have my gloves on. So if you can see that, my powder is in this container right here. Hey, I was going to give me a little scoop so I can scoop it on there. So my, next time, I, I just go ahead. I just went ahead and bought this powder. I mean, I just got this powder. He sent it to me. Big boy sent it to me. So I have my scoop. I misplaced. I got to get another scoop. That was way too much, but you know, we always do goof up on videos. So basically, you just basically make sure the powder is covering the whole design. Back and forth. Get the whole design covered on both sides. Yeah, see that? Yeah, I can see that. Way too much powder, but it doesn't matter as long as it's covering the whole the whole design, okay? But you see how it's going back into the bucket? We can reuse this powder. Making sure the whole design is covered. This is some nice powder. I've been using it. It's basically the glue to keep the um the image from sticking on the shirt. So I use the powder. So I just basically shake it off into that little um thing. This is how it's supposed to look right here, okay? It's all supposed to be white, but then if you put it in the oven, it's gonna be like a little glistening. They say it's supposed to look like a um uh uh an orange pillow, that's what they say. But I don't think it's like that. It's just like a little glossier. I put it in the oven. Right here, lay it in there. It's already set. There you go. Now push start. I set it for 120 seconds or 200. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna be baking right now. And while that's baking, I'm gonna go ahead and put another image on my machine. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, if y'all got any questions, I'm gonna ask y'all answer them in a minute. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the image out. show you how to do that my you have to have your own computer another computer hooked on to um to the machine which is right here it's a laptop you can't use um you can't use um um you can't use my mind is i can't think right now my laptop uh <laughs> you can't use uh Freaking Fuji, some tip of my tongue. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll tell y'all in a minute.
can't use Mac. I couldn't think of Mac. <laughs> you can't use Mac, okay? I'm looking right at it like, what the freaking name is the, <laughs> is the computer? So I have a regular fan, little cheap computer that I got from um, Office Depot. So first you go right here. Who gave me the answer? I know somebody to help me out. Y'all know y'all girl, y'all sister need help. Deborah, thank you, Deborah. Okay, so let me go in here and find my other image I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna do a Leah. I'm gonna show y'all the, the images that I already done. I just did DMX. So to basically go into that little um button I just showed y'all. I'm about to find a Leah. She wants all my designs. Shout out to y'all for going on my 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 Instagram my Etsy page and shopping with me. So I appreciate that. So she bought all my designs on my Etsy page. And I'm going to ship them out today. Okay, so I'm just basically making it bigger to fit the adult size. I'm just using my little thing right here. My mouse pad. Making it bigger. Okay. Make sure it's in the middle of the um page. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand. I need a mouse. I have a mouse, but I don't have it connected. Let me make sure it's not falling off the page. Let me scoot it over some. Make it a little smaller. Okay, so right there, I do. Like I said, I'm trying to do it with one hand. Okay, so that's still 10 by 8.7. That's going to be a little bit bigger. About right there. Okay, that's cool right there. Okay, so this is the lead. I made her all by myself. I love designing, y'all. I love creating new images for my customers. And I appreciate y'all going to my site and buying them from me. This is crazy. I'm trying to make this center. Ah, let me put my phone down. Hold on. Hey, Miss Parker. I'm trying to turn my phone around. Okay. Let me set this right here so I can be able to do this right because it is for a customer that's my oven that need my um images done i'm gonna set it off the oven and set it over so it can dry for a little while and this is how it looks when it's done drying it's looking kind of shiny you see that okay i'm gonna set it over here so it can dry while i'm putting this image on the machine okay Let me go ahead and make this bigger. Make it fit in the middle. Okay, there she is. And then what I do next. Hey. What I do next, I just basically go to rip right here. So you gotta do this is this is the rip um software they send you with the machine, with the DTF machine pro color. It sends gives you this. It gives you all it send you with all the ink and the roll of paper that's back here. Okay, the roll of paper. And it also gives you the rack right here. And it also gives you the um tray, the heater, the powder, and then they give you the software, which is this oh, right here, this little thing right here on the little um floppy drive. So you push rip. Then you go right here at the bottom. You can't see mine, but it's gonna say print right there. Right there, you really can't see because my computer, I don't know how to set that up, but I just push it. And that's it. So all you do, you upload your image by using this button right here, this little icon right here. Upload the image, size it, push rip, and then you push um, you push um, print when the, when the other dialog come back up. It's really easy. I have so many videos on this machine. Check them out. I have over ten videos on this machine. I can show you how to clean it when it needs to be clean. Um, the reason why I got this um, hold on. The reason why I got this one right here, the Recoma white ink printer which is also like a dtf um system but you don't have to worry about um basically you don't have to worry about doing the cleaning okay while this is going right here while this is going we're gonna go over here back to the table but it's it's, it's going this is how it looks when it goes and i'm gonna show you how it looks when it's, when it's coming out but basically with the dtf machine you have to basically do a hair cleaning so your white ink won't dry out right because the white ink will dry out if you don't maintain your cleaning but with the white tone clean printer, um, there I think it's, there's no white ink, so you have to worry about doing all that cleaning. And you could just you don't have to worry about doing head head cleanings. You just go ahead and print. But I heard that the texture is different on your on your um shirts. Like um, of course when you have sublimation, you can't feel the sublimation. It's just like it's ink, right? But with DTF, you can feel a little bit of something. Let me show y'all my DTF shirt. I think I got one right here. 
No, I don't. I never find one. I, I, and then the DTF shirt. Now this is some, this is sublimation right here. You can't feel nothing, okay? But this is polyester. It's polyester. You have to sublimate on polyester. You cannot feel nothing. It's ink. The DTF, um, you can feel a little bit. And then I heard that the white, the white toner probably feels like vinyl. But but the difference between vinyl DTF and white tone printer is vinyl. You cannot print a whole a whole image like this. You can't do this with vinyl. This cannot be with vinyl because see all these colors, all these cuts and stuff. You can't cut this. So it's easy to sublimate this and DTF this or white tone cleaner, white tone printer this. <laughs> Or you can use the transfers from you get transfers from um like Hobby Lobby. It's called I have some transfers, but I it's basically called transfers. Uh, what's it called? It's another type of some transfer. You basically put in your inkjet printer, regular inkjet printer, print in your shirt, and it feels like paper. And I heard this how the white toner feels like paper a little bit too, but it lasts long. The uh the transfer sheets last long too because I've done Back in the day when I first started YouTubing, I did a shirt for my son and for me, and I still had that shirt. But the only thing different between when you get the white, when you get the transfer sheets from Hobby Lobby or um, Lowe's, I mean Hobby Lobby or um, Michael's or whatever, the sheets came in the eight, by, eight and a half by eleven. Now I heard there's bigger sheets now. They have eleven by thirteen sheets. If you go on Amazon, they have them bigger on Amazon, so you can do bigger images. But back in the day, you only could do eight and a half by eleven, and then also Cricky only cut. They only Cut the prints real small. I don't remember what the size was, but you had to do it through cutting print on Cricut. So now Cricut done, they done changed that. I never did anything on Cricut yet because I really don't have no use for it. If you want to see some videos on YouTube, other people are doing videos on that. But I'm making things. Not saying that you can't use those to design people's um, um, shirts and stuff with, but I rather just do sublimation. Uh, DTF for my customers and then vinyl if I'm just doing a regular image with not a lot of colors because you can't do you can't cut this okay um just like I said just a question to answer so I'm just going ahead and talk 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 if you have some questions ask me and I can answer whatever I know but um I'm just trying to tell you how the difference between those computers I mean those printers I love my cricket machine don't get me wrong I love my cricket machine but I you won't be seeing me doing cricket unless I'm doing like um custom items for people like I do a lot of cricket stuff on my glasses I make bling glasses so I had to basically use the um the vinyl for glasses and I beat it out um I do some shirts too we just have when you just using words or whatever or just simple images I do use my cricket but I really don't do my my cut and print that much print and cut on cricket I don't use that I really just go ahead and do it my DTF machine um a lot of people that not ready or say can't, can't they don't say can't afford the machines or just don't want to purchase the DTF, DTF machines they are doing um the transfer sheets which is fine and it's and it lasts long i never sold a shirt with using the transfer sheets i made them for me and my son and they wash really good so that's how i know they work good but like i said the images will be smaller than this this is like a 10 by 10 image the other ones would be a little bit smaller it's, it's okay to use those for like kids clothes small medium and large once you get over large you go from like extra large to 2x 3x 4x the image is gonna be really small in the shirt right you want your image to be big enough for the shirt so you can see, you know, so it can be professional. Okay? So, th if y'all have any questions about that or y'all even say, have more to say about that, let me know what y'all think about the transfer sheets and how is Cricut doing with the print and cut as far as they bigger, the biggest, um, you can you can cut it bigger. Now, what's the size for that, whoever's doing the Cricut? I have 64 people over here watching. Thank y'all. got 33 thumbs up. Can I get some more thumbs up, please? You got to go out this video and just thumbs up, like this video if you'd like to um, hear more about what I have to say. Let me blah blah at the mouth. But my um print is done. So let me show y'all. Um so okay, the, the Lord Deborah said hello. Uh Journey said hello. I just checked it like thank you, thank you, Miss Parker. Hey, um the De Derica, Derica. Who else is on here? Just uh Peggy, hey, good morning, good evening. She said, I said good morning. Y'all please forgive me. When I don't be on video a lot, my tongue get twisted and I'm talking all crazy. I already know I talk fast, but I'm so excited to be on here. I'm talking all loopy loopy today. So please forgive me. My disclaimer is I do talk fast. And today, it's been over two weeks, y'all, since I've been on this video. So I got to get back to normal. Okay? Really, Patricia? Cricket cut 11 by 17? I don't think it's that big. She said Cricket is like 6.5 by 9.3 or something like that. I thought it was bigger than that now, um, Lisa. Hey, in the case, 
than the case. Okay, let me show y'all some images already that I already um basically printed out. So basically what I do is to keep my images good enough for my good and safe for my customers, I basically print them out of here. I put like a little salt packet in here. I don't have it here right now, I gotta give one. Got from Amazon. And then I just put some basically some some thin paper so the, the images won't touch on each other touch each other. I got this from Amazon too. All my links below is um everything that I've purchased is all my links on my links, links below. But this is uh this one square. Some real some thin paper, some tissue paper or whatever. So I make sure that I put these between the image the um the, the images. The, the um <laughs> told y'all I'm talking y'all crazy. Between the Ain't that nice? Between the uh the film, golly. So this is NWA, she bought this for me. So basically it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like this transparent background and white on the back, okay? I really don't want to have this out because I want the air to mess everything up from the print. But this is how I put, I storage my stuff until I'm ready to pack it up into the envelope. I use um, poly mail. So that's my um, NWA. Yes, I made that myself. Um, check out my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, for all my images. And I just uploaded some art, some shirts that I just, that I'm selling now. This is um, Nipsey Hustle. I don't want to touch him too much because I, I don't want to mess him up. But this is him. Um... And then I did another one, Mary J. Blige. And I'm doing, who I'm doing now? I think I'm doing Aaliyah now. I, I created all these designs. That's my Mary. And she's cute. Oh my God. I love designing stuff, y'all. So, yep, I did all these out of Canva. I created them um, all out of Canva. And, yes, I get my images from the Internet, from Google, okay? So, if y'all want to design some stuff on your own, go to Canva.com. Check out the links below. You can go to Canva for, um... A, de a good deal on my link below. Free. For the first 30 days, I think. Hope y'all can hear me. Because <clears throat> I just had a message through Facebook. So, hopefully y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. I, mean, I forgot to block my phone. Put my phone on phone, do not disturb. So, I'm sorry about that. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Um. So, that is, that's done. I'll show y'all those. I have Aaliyah print in out. And I also have to do... I just did, I did DMX already. So I gotta do one more, which is Kobe. I got one I gotta do with Kobe on it. And I I'll be done hers. So I can ship hers out to her this stuff out tonight, okay? Um I'm doing DMX now, I believe. Yeah. So when that get done, oh no, I got done with DMX. Let me show y'all. Oh, I'm doing Aaliyah right now. So Aaliyah, I think, is my last one. No, I gotta do Kobe, okay? So here's my DMX one. I did that myself too, hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this in the bucket in the container. It's too big. I'm gonna have to cut this down some more because it's too big to fit in here. I gotta cut the little edges off a little bit on top. I'll be right back. I, mean, I, I can push y'all over there. I can see a little bit what I'm doing. My little cutter is right over here. Off a little bit so I can get to put it in my container, but um, so it can just stay because you don't want to keep this out to get um, it affects the moisture of the image and it might mess, it won't print, I mean, it won't stick to the shirt, okay? So let me go ahead and oh, Leah done, she's she's not printing no more, so let me go get her in a minute. I'm gonna keep on moving this camera around like this, y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all sit right here while I go get a Leah in a second. I put him in here. I put the tissue on top so it won't touch anything because he's dry. Put the tissue paper on top so it won't touch. I gotta take y'all over there with me anyway because I gotta put them in the oven. So come over here with me to the oven. I'm sorry, I got this. I got y'all on my I need to get a um a thing with wheels on it. Okay, so here's Aaliyah. Bring her on out here. It's be white like this. This machine is the bomb. Check out my other videos on, on this machine. I got one more to do. I got Kobe to do and I'll be done with everything. But before I do Kobe, I'm going to answer some questions for y'all. If y'all have any questions to ask me. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to cut it. Oh, that's real wet. See how wet that is? See how it's glossy? I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit. I like to keep it, let it dry just a little bit. But you don't want to get it too, 
crazy in, in the heat, gotta make sure you know your climate in your in your um, prayer room because it will not stick if it's not right, okay? So what I do, I lay it in the tray. Let that sit for a minute so it can dry just a little bit. I'll come over here and get Kobe. On my computer so I can print him out. I already showed y'all how I did everything as far as uploading and stuff. So I'm going to do this one kind of fast. Because I don't want y'all already seen me do it the first time. So if y'all have seen see the first one, y'all can go back and watch this video when I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and put Kobe on here. Make sure when you when you upload those, eh, make sure when you upload these images, they have a transparent background. You do not want no background on your images. And like I said, I made these out of Canva. Check my link below for a Canva um free for 30 days. The link below. I made this myself too. All out of Canva. And the images come from the internet. From Google. Okay, so that's good like that. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger. I'm using one hand, y'all, so please bear with me. I gotta get a mouse. I got my mouse, but I didn't hook it up like I was supposed to. Okay. That's big enough. Let me make it. Ah, I'm using one hand. Okay, so that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna do it like that, and then I'm gonna. I'm always saying it's cool. Let me try a little bit more on this side. Ah, is that cool? This is, okay, so yeah. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Okay, that's cool. Just like that. Okay, so that's Kobe. So I'm gonna go ahead and push. Rip. Push. Rip right here. And then I'm going to push print, which you can't see that part. And it's going to print out it's over here into my machine. Make sure this is up because if it's not up, this will mess up your images. So now this is dry over here. Let me go ahead and put the ink on here, the powder on here, which basically seals the powder. It's basically like the glue for the, um, for the image to stay on the shirt. My scoop. I don't have my scoop with me right now, so my little. So yeah, see that? Put the powder on there. And I just go back and forth, back and forth on the image to make sure it's co covered. Any questions about this machine, y'all? I can answer right now. Any questions about the DTF, the uh, the uh, sublimation, the Cricut? I ain't used my Cricut in a long time. That's when I did my previous when I did my shirt to my um wedding in my uh, bridal shower. So I go like that, and then I just shake it off a little bit, put it in the. That's how it looks when it's done. Look powdery. I'll put it in my machine over here. My dryer, which dries the um the image. And I put this in here, y'all. Go ahead and ask me some questions. Ask the questions I can answer them for you while this is heating up. Why is this printing out? But I do want to show y'all my 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 new baby I have right here. Look at that! Look at that, y'all! Let me sit up so you can see. Let me turn the light on so y'all can see over here. My machine is here. I have a I have a tin needle. I have a tin needle. I had to count them like I got a tin needle, y'all. This is a racoma. I was, me and my husband did a hat. We did the training. My husband did the training. We did a hat. He got the, he wore the hat. So, yeah, we did the hat right here. Here's the hat stand thing right here. And then it's the, the, the hat still, the thing is still on there. The hat, whatever it's called, it's on there still. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to get my words together soon. But this is my baby, y'all. So, we did our training. So, we can go ahead and embroider some stuff up here. Of course, I still have my six needle. Okay. And then I have my, um, here's my six needle. This is the, uh, <sighs> Brothers 670. I love this one too. But this is this one right here. And I also got this pop-up press. I mean, heat press. Basically, it pops up when it's done. You got to worry about lifting it up. I got this from Macoma also. I got new heat heat press, okay? And I also have my other heat press I already had, right? Like I said, on anything you see on the wall, it's all glue. Me and my husband tore down the, the, the paneling on the wall, so it used to see all this glue. It's like I, I painted on the wall with mustard, don't it? <laughs> But anywho, this is another machine. Here's my another heat press. This is the one I first bought when I first started crafting. Didn't know if I was going to be involved, you know, really like what I did. But I love it, so I bought more, okay? So, my business running. 
my tumbler press, my hat press, and my uh, mug press. I love these. This tumbler press. This this is from Single J's, but I didn't get it from Single J's. Somebody sold this to me for a cheaper price, so I love this tumbler mug press. It's the best. It's the best. I used to um, if you've seen my videos before. I used to do it out of ovens, like clips out of the ovens and stuff like that, but it's so easier doing out the press. And I have my, my sewing machines right here. And my embroidery machines, my one of the machines are upstairs in my dining room because I like to watch TV and do embroidery. I do a lot of patches and stuff, so I keep it upstairs so I can just chill upstairs and do those while I'm upstairs watching TV or whatever. I don't have a TV down here. So, uh, yep, I have two one needle machines. So if y'all need help with y'all one needle machines too, I do have those two upstairs in my, my living room. Okay, now let me answer y'all questions. Let's see. Who birthday is it? My birthday coming up. Is it two weeks? No, it's next week. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Please like this Christ. Thank you. Hi, Joanna. Thank you. Today is my birthday. Oh, thank you. I mean, um, happy birthday, Rebecca. My birthday is on the 21st. Have to use 24 inch mats. Yes, Vicky is up there with the game. Okay, so they said, I don't know, I don't know but she said 11 by nothing. Uh -huh. not, not, I'm not saying as far as cutting the vinyl, I'm talking about cutting print. The cutting print cannot be 23.5 inches. It, that's gotta be, that's gotta be the, um, the vinyl. I'm talking about cutting print when you basically, basically you, um, cutting. Hold on, I got dust in my nose. <laughs> I think I got this powder in my nose. I'm cutting this off. Take it over here. Let it dry. And I'll show y'all in a minute how it looks. My nose is itching, y'all. Okay. This is how it looks now that it's um, still wet. See how it looks really, it looks bumpy. This is how it's supposed to be. And it's supposed to be all white. Okay. At the back. This is the front. I made that too, y'all. Oh. <laughs> That's Aaliyah. Okay. So I'm gonna put that in the, I'm gonna put this in this container as soon as it dry. I don't wanna put it in there yet. I'm gonna let it dry a little while and then I'll put it in that container. Okay, so that one is get done. I'm gonna powder that one up and I'll be done, y'all, with, with this video because I don't want to do anything else in the video. Basically, when I got the video with y'all, I'm gonna do some tumblers. I gotta do four tumblers. And that's it tonight. Oh, I gotta do it. I gotta do a Juneteenth Juneteenth t-shirt. If y'all looking for a Juneteenth t-shirts look at my website it's, it was etsy page charming gal boutique i have all those out now my june team t-shirts i have my um for men and for women also have i just uploaded today some more some women's shirts june team shirts for men and women and some men shirts but i didn't do my father's day shirts yet so i'll be putting those up tonight so if y'all need to look up some father's day shirts y'all can go ahead and look up on um on my etsy page charming gal boutique okay I put those up, upload those tonight after the video. I go give me something to eat, and I upload those and do these tumblers. I got some tumblers to do tomorrow. Tumblers are so easy to do. I just gotta get um my image together and put it um print it out on sublimation, and then I heat it up on my um tumbler press. I love the tumbler press. Okay, how much does the DTF um uh check the link below? I'm not really sure the price because I got they see mine for free. Shout out to Pro Color. But check out the link below. Um, you will be getting a discount if you use my link, link, my link below. And don't get the small one, y'all. Don't get the small DTF. Do not get the small DTF machine because if you get the small one, you're going you're gonna to regret it because you want to be able to get the one that you can have at least make the shirts for the 4X, 3X, 2X, or whatever. So if you get get the one that's... That one right there I have is... Let me see. I'm sorry to see. It's, it's the bigger one. It's the middle. It's the, I guess it's the second. It's only two sizes, I think. Or maybe it's an industrial one. But mine's a 20 inch, 12 inch wide one. Okay? The 12 inch wide one. And don't get the, the eight, eight, eight by something. That's too small. Okay. Let me see. How much does it? Let me see. She said, in brilliant software is great. Yes. In brilliant, that's what I use in brilliant software. Yes. Um, Miss Curry. Does it print out images large enough for 2X and up shirts? What, Miss Smiling Steel? Which one are you talking about? The um, DTF machine? Yes, it does. 
you can go like uh the biggest i think it's like a 12 by it's 12 inch wide so you can do 12 by 12 which is good for any size shirt make sure you don't have no white background in the back so go ahead and answer any questions y'all want because when i get done um with this when it's finished printing let me show y'all how it looks when it's printing i'm going to put the um glue on that i mean the powder on it see how it's printing out right now that's how it looks when it's working that's the color see how it is colored but then that white goes on top of that color you can see that um the color is moving you see a little bit of color then now when you come out of uh, white that's how it's supposed to be if it's not white it's not this it's not right <laughs> if it's not white it's not right okay i just love watching the machine go pro color go procolor.com they are in china but they do have skype so they really um works with, i mean this customer service is the bomb here's the heater Uh, what else y'all saying? Let's see. Five X size. Let me show y'all. I got an image um, thing over here to tell you what sizes you need. Um, I'll have to go to five X. Let me see. It goes up to four X, and the four X size. Right, see right here. It says adult shirts. Y'all want to screenshot that? Go ahead and screenshot that off y'all your phone. Or whatever but screenshot if y'all want to but extra small is eight and a half inches it tells you the shirt size and design size i have the infant toddler youth adult right so she was asking me this, this right here so i'm trying to get it so y'all can see it clearly so you can screenshot that screenshot that if y'all need to extra small is eight and a half and she said the 5x is not on here so it could be like a 12 12 and a half but still i just didn't take 12x on here and then a 12 inch it was fine okay so for a small eight and a half, you want the, eight, the, the image to be eight and a half by eight and a half or whatever. And then the 4X is 11.5, okay, by 11.5. Depends on what kind of image you have. If you have a longer image, it goes down longer. And then it says place the design three inches from the, or 3.5 inches from the nickel. You want to know where it's got this from? iCraftVinyl.com. The image, you should go find that. It's basically called a heat transfer vinyl sizing and placement chart. Tells you what size you need for always infant, toddlers, and youth and adult. Screenshot that if y'all need to. Okay, that's it. Any other questions? I'm put this inside the little container. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in my little um poly mail, and I'll show y'all what I use. This is my table. My table's a mess. See how I, I probably put two tables together right here in the middle. It's two long tables right here. Then I got a table on this side and I got a table on this side. And all my shirts and stuff that I sell, you know, all my blank shirts and hats and stuff is all against the wall. All my shirts and stuff. This is, you know, all my fabric and stuff is against this wall. So I got everything. I love how it's just wall to wall space, right? This basement is huge. And no, I didn't want to put everything in the basement because it was a finish. But I was like, forget that. I don't care. Like, I want to have everything here in my house. So I got it. And this is more right here. This is just a divider. <laughs> but um, there's more stuff on this wall. I said, everything is in my house. I don't care how it looks. I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to come down here in my pajamas when I need to work, okay? Instead of driving somewhere to do my work. So these are all my, my kids' t-shirts, okay? And my toddler shirts. I put them all in here. Okay, so this is yeah, all my sublimation stuff over here, all my vinyl and stuff over here. So, and I got a, a full tour of everything. So, check my other video for my full tour of my basement. Oh, and here's the um, this is this is DTF. Okay, I was trying to tell y'all how I feel. It's not, it stretches. I mean, it's good. Okay, it's nice. This is DTF, the shirt that I made for DTF. I love this. And like I said, I haven't did a shirt yet for my um, for my uh, my white um ink printer yeah but it's sublimation of course this is um 100 polyester tank top from walmart so that's sublimation i have a sublimation shirt on i have on today is sublimation and there's my youtube plaque thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all for 100 100 subscribers i'm almost at i think i'm over 2000 200 000 now i appreciate y'all for rocking with your girl okay now kobe is done so i'm going to show you how i'm going to put the powder on him and we done with this video y'all i'm starving i need to eat but if y'all have any questions, y'all go ahead and ask me some questions while I put this powder on here. I'm going to sit y'all right here while I go cut him off the machine. 
and bring them over here, okay? Be right back. Okay, here he is. Look at Kobe. I made this design. This is huge. See how big that design is? Okay, that's the adult size. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off over here. So I can get some of this. So I won't get so much extra. Huh, so much extra uh, film. So I see, like I said, it comes, the, the machine comes with the heater, the dryer, the film, the ink, and the powder. Okay? And the, um, the tray that you see at the bottom. And what else will come with? The roller for the uh, paper, paper roll. Okay? Sprinkle a little bit on here. My scoop is missing. I don't have that, so. And you can reuse and reuse until it's over with, okay? Reuse the powder as many times as you want. So I just do it like this. See, I just basically go back, shimmy it back and forth. Don't touch the white ink. Shimmy it back and forth. Cover, make sure it's good coverage. This is the glue that seals the uh, image on the shirt. And yes, it works, y'all. People are like, how does that work? You heat it on the stuff, you heat it on the shirt, and that's how you do DTF. I mean, you heat it in the um, oven to seal that um, glue to the image, and you put it on the shirt, heat press it, and it lasts forever. I done, I have so many DTF shirts that I made myself, and I bought some DTF images from um, Big Boy also. Or it's another guy. I think Big Boy just does the ink and stuff. But somebody else that does the images, DTF images. I bought some from him, and I make my own. So check out my... Um, Check out my Etsy page so you can see my images that I make on my DTF transfers it's on my uh, Amazon page. I also got a clothing line, y'all. Me and my husband came out with a clothing line. It's called Top Notch Status. So that is launching. Now we embroider hats and all kind of stuff with our name on it. So it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's in the making, y'all. I'm trying to bring out the best. I'm trying to bring out the best. So I appreciate y'all for y'all support. When are you going live again? Did you did they send you the air purifier with your curing machine? No, they didn't. I'm in the basement, so I have a window over there. I can open the window. So no, it's not that strong, but of course you listen to what they tell you to do. If you need to if they say you had to have a um to suction it out the um window. This is just for me. I don't have that purifier and it's not strong to me. So to, I mean, I'm not saying not to get the purifier, um, but I don't have one. Um, it's not as strong as a lot of people got these machines, them, them cutting machines. What's it called? Those cutting machines when you really have to have that because dust is all over the place and it's really thick. Uh, what's that, that um, cutting machine called? It cuts, uh, it cuts wood. It cuts a lot of thick stuff. Supposed to really have a vent for that, vent that out the window. But this right here, I've been using this for almost six months and I haven't had any problems with me i supposed to wear gloves but i don't but i have some gloves right here somewhere they're right there I just put them on. but yeah no i don't have an air purifier glow forge thank you kathy thank y'all for helping me because y'all know i'll be all over the place we getting i got so many different <sighs> machines i forget you got you see i have sticky notes everywhere telling me what i got how i use them because i forget like there's so much going on i got so i got one two three four five six seven eight about over 20 machines down here not counting my pretty machines okay so i got that going on any other questions i have 65 people watching thank you thumbs up to if you like this video um when i'm going live again my birthday is next weekend i'll be out of town so i probably mm, i probably try to go live again before i go out of town for my birthday so probably probably monday or tuesday i'll probably get to going but let me know what y'all want to see i know what y'all want to see um i have every, a video on everything so far check out my videos on my youtube channel i have so many videos so if y'all want to see anything let me know if y'all want to see something new i can do them over videos that i've already done i can i can do fresh new ones just let me know what y'all want to see i do want to do a video on my embroidery machine i'm kind of scared because you know it's a new machine every time i get a new machine i get scared to be forever to Start that thing up. You can see that in the background. My 10 meter coma. It took me forever to do the training. I was terrified. I was scared. But it's on there. I got it together. It's working. So I might do a video on that. Or I might do a video with my 6 needle machine. Let me know what y'all want to see. What videos y'all want me to do. 
What's popping now? I haven't watched a lot of YouTube videos lately. So what's going on? What's the new trend? What's going on? What's out there now? People doing right now? Tell me in the comment below. Let me know. Okay. I thought I was done. I thought I was done. <laughs> the heater is going off. That's the blue heater. I'm going to turn it off because I'm done for today. Done for tonight. Kobe is um, dry now, so I'm just let him sit out for a minute until he get all the way dry before I put him in the plastic container. He dry all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and ship everything out tonight. Take it to the post office tonight, and it's ready for my customer. I already shipped, I already got her. Um, I already got her. Um, what's it called? Let me show y'all. If my phone wanna turn around, crazy phone. I got her. Um. Paperwork all together. A mailer for the um, mail. And then a poly mailer is right here. Got everything together. I'm ready to ship it off to her. Okay. I got some bigger poly mailers. That's not big enough. I bought some bigger ones just for my DTF. And here it is right here. And they are already sealed. They're not purple. I can't find no big ones that, that purple. So I got these for my DTF. They're huge. It's already got some um poly in there, so we'll mess up my transfer. So I got those ready to go. Put this on put this on here. And then I put the invoice in here. And it's already in my thank you card. Let me my thank you cards I have. This is how I ship my stuff out, y'all. Okay, thank you cards. The invoice. And I put those images inside a plastic um sleeve big enough to fit those i'll find the sleeves in a minute but i can't do, find them with one hand and I also put like these salt packets in there uh silicone gel okay i put the one in there to keep it moisture out amazon okay my amazon link is below and that's it that's how i ship my stuff out Okay, I'm gonna stay on here for a couple more minutes to answer any questions y'all wanna ask me. And I'm out of here, y'all. I'm hungry. I'd like to see you do another mug or tumbler with the pearls and bling. Okay. Yeah, those that video right there is the kind of long. Um and but the video already I already had no, I don't do tumblers. I don't do um bling tumbler i just do the bling glasses the wine glasses um those are some long videos so that one i might not do over but i can uh it basically if you go on my in my youtube channel and just put in um bling mug bling bling wine glasses you will see it it's nothing changed that's that video will always be the same as far as the way you put the the blings on it to say i use the same glue because i have i do need to do some bling bling um glasses because i got some orders but it, that's going to be a long video. And I don't want to do it live on that because it takes forever to do that. Usually when I do video on that, I basically edit it and I cut it and all that kind of stuff. But I've been doing live so much because I'm lazy, y'all. I'm lazy and I do not want to have to clean up the video. I can just talk to y'all and be done with it and put it in. And it's, it's done. I'm telling the truth. I hate editing videos. <laughs> so that's why I've been doing so many lives lately so I can talk to y'all, answer y'all questions right here in my face. And y'all don't got to worry about messaging me. I can ask you right, answer your questions right now. And I just upload it. I don't have to edit nothing. Just go with the flow. And if I goof up, I goof up. Y'all see everything. And y'all can learn from my mistakes. And hopefully hopefully y'all will do the same mistakes I've done in my video. Because I'm showing y'all what not to do. Do you give your customers anything free in the package? Um, I If I have returning customers, yes. I throw a little something something in there. And I do have a, little, a lot of people that, re, um, that purchase from me. So, yes, I do. Every once in a while. Um, the X2. No, it was called the Glow Forge. Um, Miss Journey said, thank you. She said, happy for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, anything else, y'all? She said, hello, Charmaine. Can I get a screenshot of those sizes again? Okay, I'm going to show you the size one more time. Give me a couple minutes. Let me just read what's going on here. 
I'm basically going to show y'all these sizes, uh, basically of how, what sizes you're supposed to put the images on your shirt. I'll show y'all that in a second. So if y'all want to screenshot it, just get ready. So, um, so I can hold the phone up, y'all can screenshot it. So I got to go and pack up this, this um stuff, this order, okay? And feed my face. Okay, I'm about to go do it right now. Y'all want to screenshot that? I'm going to do it. That's a, the, the all the sizes. I ain't going to put the shirt. Well, yeah, it tells you the infant right here. Screenshot that. I'm trying to be still. The heat transfer vinyl sizing placement chart. Okay. Then we'll get close up. Five, four, three, two, one. Then I'm gonna go closer so you can see the dot sizes and the placement. Five, four, three, two, one. And this is from um, iCraft Vinyl. Check that and we can get that. We can print it out on iCraft Vinyl. It's called the heat transfer vinyl sizing and placement chart. Or just Google heat transfer vinyl size and placement chart. Okay? It tells you what sizes you need to have on which size shirt you're using. Hoodie shirts, kid shirts, whatever. Okay. That's it for today, y'all. Let's see if any first name sounds like Connie. Miss Parker, get it. Thank you. I should say got it. Okay, Peggy, don't be afraid of the coma. Just make sure your space is good on your hoop. Thank you, thank you, Peggy. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it together. I'm a, it's that's an industrial machine. That thing be, you know, so it's, <laughs> but I want to do some hats. I'm gonna get these hats out here, um, and I'm gonna do some stuff with my my um my brand name, my um clothing line. So I will definitely be getting started with that. So thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for all the thumbs up. I appreciate y'all listening and watching and supporting. Shout out to all y'all. Also, like I said, I'm going to do another video on Monday or Tuesday. I don't know what I'm doing the video on. I might do, like I said, embroidery. Um, I'm going to get these tumblers out the way tonight. Um, until next time, be blessed. Thank you. Have a blessed one.